Hey, how's it going? It's Sophia here from Zen Guidance. I hope all is well with you today and thank you for clicking on this pick a card reading. I know I've been away for about a week, but I've been quite ill. I've had a really bad throat infection. It actually really knocked me and usually I can power through if I am feeling ill in certain ways, but it really, my throat was on fire and yeah, it was pretty bad, but uh, I'm feeling much better now. So there's a bit of a backlog because I've got client readings to get to as well. So I will try and get back up to normal speed um, within the next few weeks and be getting the videos out to you more regularly. Okay, so let's see what is in store for you when it comes to your person's current feelings about you. Okay, so all you need to do is choose one of the three images on your screen. Feel free to pause the video here if you do need some time. And once you've made your choice, you can go to the description box below where you'll find the corresponding timestamps to your chosen pile. You'll also find the link to my website. So if you would like to book a personal reading with me, a natal chart reading, or, or <laughs> I struggle with saying this, or a remote Reiki session, you can book all of those on my website. Details are below. Okay, so let's get into your reading now. Click the timestamp and I'll see you there. Hi, group one. So let's take a look at what your person's current feelings are for you. Okay, this always feels a little bit more exciting because I've been away, so I'm really intrigued to see what's coming through collectively for you, okay? Because I haven't done a feelings reading in a little while. So let's see, group number one, what are your person's current feelings for you? Okay, so we have hostilities in reverse. Angel of Love, Storm Warning, okay, so group one, I feel like your person is feeling less defensive in some way, I feel like this is them dropping their guard, so they, you may have noticed that they've been a bit more open with you, a bit more yeah, open in reciprocating, like loving, sweet energy, because we've got this angel of love here, which I feel is this influence, this power that it has over your person, okay, because I do feel like your person does have loving feelings for you. If that's something you were wondering, you don't need to wonder anymore, okay? There are definitely feelings, and I do feel this is reciprocal, but I do feel your person was afraid before. They were afraid to let their guard down with you, to be the real them or to show the real them. They may have even a fear of commitment or a fear of being vulnerable. But something has opened up here recently which has allowed them to feel more open, more comfortable. Now, whether or not you've seen this from them, this might be something that's going to happen as well. You may notice this shift in their energy. <clears throat> But this might be still behind the scenes for some of you. So for some of you, you may be like, oh yes, they definitely have let their guard down. The way that they're being with me right now, this makes sense. But for others of you, it may be like, mm, I'm sensing this, but I'm not seeing it yet. So it may be that, obviously it's different time frames for everybody, but it may be that for some of you, it's gonna take them a little bit longer before they're able to actually open up. Because we've also got this storm warning and I just got a sudden pain in my stomach. Like it felt quite, um, yeah, quite a sudden sharp pain um, and then like a dull ache. So I get the sense here that your person is afraid to be hurt in this. They're afraid that you may hurt them. And I think this is because you hold the keys to their heart, okay? Which I don't feel that they were expecting or maybe that they were ready for. But it's now like they've come to this place where they're realizing, okay, I actually do have real feelings, deep feelings for group one. What am I going to do next? What am I going to do with this energy? How am I going to handle this moving forwards? And so there's a part of them here as well that I feel like doubts themselves whether they are going to be able to handle this in the most mature, calm or easy way. Okay, because they, because there's a lot of triggering happening here. Like I feel like your person has definitely felt quite conflicted about this connection with you at different points and I feel like very it's intense I'm getting like a lot of a mix of emotions anger frustration jealousy insecurity confusion okay there's a lot going on here and again a lot of fear and I feel like they're almost worried about their own emotional control are they going to be able to control themselves within within this connection 
so let's see what else is coming through here for you group one what is your person's most recent feelings about you okay trust in the universe be the light yeah so i feel like your person is they definitely had some kind of awakening recently an epiphany moment about you because it seems here that they are they're looking towards the lighter side of things now whereas perhaps they were drawn into the darker side of things before so maybe that this is they were looking at all of the negatives about your connection or the ways in which you weren't compatible or maybe even just feeling really down on themselves not feeling good enough for you or feeling like you're the light you're the innocent you're the the pure person you're the one with the kind heart and they are the ones that have to work on that in some way so this is almost like holding up a mirror to them it feels like you hold up a mirror and you reflect back to them what they really are rather than what they have perceived themselves to be so there's something about you being able to see through them which is also what may have made them feel a bit uncomfortable because i mean you may even be a white witch you may do some kind of spell work or you could even see affirmations manifestations as a form of, of spell work but you may not want to term it like that i appreciate but i even think that it's and this, I wasn't the first one to think this. I can't remember where I actually heard this before, but it's like the words we say is like casting spells on ourselves. And I really do believe that. And that's what they say with manifestation. You've got to be careful about what you say because you do manifest the things that you speak about. So yeah, this, and the fact that I'm talking about this so much may be a prominent point here. For some of you, you may be a manifester in the human design um, profile or a type okay if you're familiar with human design if you're not you may want to go and check this or a manifesting generator perhaps and it's not to say you can't manifest if you're not those types okay you just manifest in different ways but yeah there's something here about them seeing you as the light and them as the dark but also that it's like yin and yang like you're the yin and they're the yang i'm just gonna have a sip of my water one sec Okay. But yeah, it feels like they're realizing that they just need to trust at this point, that they may not have all of the answers now. And I feel like this is maybe what they were digging at previously. They were trying to find answers. They were trying to get some help. They may have been asking for advice, looking up advice online or asking other people. For some of you, they may even be seeing a therapist. Okay, I definitely see them talking through their problems, talking through their insecurities, their worries and their fears. Now it may be with an older male figure here. I'm definitely seeing this could be a father or a father type of figure, grandfather, or just a mature male energy. This may even be a mentor or somebody that they find inspirational, somebody that they gain a lot of insight from. But yeah, so it could even be somebody online, somebody famous even where this because this person is flying high i feel like this person inspires your person okay to be better to do better and to trust more as long as they're taking the right actions they're being guided to trust to trust in the outcome of this they may worry a lot about what's going to happen okay your person's feelings your person's recent feelings group one round and round to the sea yeah your person is definitely very emotional pisces cancer scorpio energy is coming through heavily i am getting some aries here as well you know we do have fire we've got passion but i do feel yeah there's something about them they don't want to go around in circles anymore. I feel like this is them wanting a new cycle with you. They don't want to remain hostile or remain defensive. They want to keep their guard, like let their guard down and keep it down with you. But I do get the sense that they may dip in and out, okay? Even though they do have these very strong feelings for you, they may like remove themselves from you, become a bit avoidant at times. But it's almost because this person is so sensitive, because they feel things so strongly that they feel like they need to take a step back to reevaluate things or to 
maybe even just self-care like they need some time alone and yeah your person may need a lot of time alone especially if they work with a lot of people or if they've got a you know a large social life but they then feel the other side of the extreme where they feel like they then need to be introverted or like they get really close with you get really intimate and then they have to pull away okay and I feel like this is where they are okay they and this might be a bit of a cycle for them that they yeah, get close and then they pull away get close pull away which I appreciate may be frustrating and hard to feel stable in the connection on your part okay unless this suits you okay unless this fits for you you may also be this way you and you both may enjoy actually having free time living your independent lives but then coming back together in union when the time is right higher power Ooh. yeah i mean this makes so much sense because your person really feels this spiritual connection to you okay like they may be having dreams about you visions seeing your name or number synchronicities or other signs that make them feel like there's something here with you and I don't just feel like it's visual signs I do feel like it's something on that deeper spiritual level where they just feel like I don't know what it is I mean I can see all the amazing things about group one but there's something deeper here there's something that I can't explain something that pulls me to them okay that's what they're thinking okay let's see what else is coming through flow and that makes a lot of sense as well with to the sea and flow again with all this water especially if they do have a lot of water in their chart as i said water needs to to flow and it chooses the path of least resistance Okay, it doesn't flow upstream it will always flow downstream and so i do feel your person they may choose the easy route a lot of the times even if that means for example not confronting something okay maybe this is just in relationships they may be quite a go-getter in other areas of their life but or certainly when it comes to this connection with you i do feel they just want to see how it goes okay and it's it's almost like baby steps for them they're just letting their guard down they're just kind of opening up feeling a bit less defensive being more open to the deeper side of things with you and then they just want to see okay can we maintain this is you know let's just see let's not think too far ahead so yeah i don't feel like your person at the moment is like planning a long-term future but i do also in the same breath i do feel that they we've got protection here that they they wouldn't be investing in you if they didn't feel that could be something serious between you so i do feel your person sees you as long-term potential but at the same time they're very much like live in the moment let's just see let's see how things go between the two of us can we flow together can it work together okay am i going to feel too triggered in this are you going to get upset by their actions okay so yeah i feel like they definitely just like let's just see how it flows and then we've got protection so yeah i feel like they actually feel maybe they they think this or they feel this that you could protect them in some way again it's like you're the light you're the purity they may even see you as having some kind of special gift special powers where they feel like maybe even that you heal them in some way it's given me chiron energy wounded healer so yeah they may see you as in some way being able to heal them and yeah also protect them yeah it may even be like something connected to their work i just heard something connected to their work you're able to help protect or help something grow again they may not be able to quite understand this on a logical level but there's something here that they feel pulled towards and it's not in a using sense like they just want to use you for what they can get i don't see that with this person but i'm seeing this as one of the reasons that they're feeling this pull and you may even feel a pull towards them for this very reason too you both may feel a level of protection because i'm really drawn in by these two lightning bolts coming down and it kind of feels like this is both of you coming down in two lightning bolts <laughs> and yeah i just feel like this is element of protection that's coming down from the heavens here and it's like you're both individually protected and then you come together and then you're like ultra protected and you may even be able to extend that protective bubble outwards 
yeah definitely gives me power couple energy okay so let's get some tarot now and then i will get some message cards from your person your person's most recent feelings for you okay we've got temperance sagittarius wow hierophant taurus two major arcanas <laughs> wow and the king of pentacles so yeah your person definitely does see you as i was saying it as relationship long-term commitment because this can even be marriage okay that's the first thing that actually came to me so even though they want to see how it goes i don't feel like that changes what they want in terms of let's just see but at the same time i feel like they're thinking if things go well this could be something that lasts a lifetime okay because i feel like they're looking at you you're both looking at each other is in, in different ways that you can help each other grow like i feel like you're meant to help bring this person your person out of their shell and they are meant to ground and protect you in some way and you're meant to grow together you're meant to expand and I feel like, yeah, they see you as this very peaceful energy, like they, yeah, they feel at peace in your presence, they feel at peace when things are running smoothly with you, and that, yeah, you are the bringer of peace, even if there is some triggering, there is some sparks and fire that may come through at different points in ways they feel triggered, but at the same time, they almost feel triggered to grow, to evolve by getting to know you, and I feel like they really appreciate that and king of pentacles here taurus virgo capricorn like they're really thinking about okay this could really be something for the long term i'm willing to put in the efforts okay and this isn't a night and it's not a page this isn't like new or just a, very, a little amount of effort they wouldn't want to put in all the effort they want to put in the effort that it's going to take to make this work for the long term so they're willing to do it at this time again remember this is how they're currently feeling of course this could change moving forwards naturally our feelings and thoughts do fluctuate over time but obviously it, this is quite a positive reading i would say obviously it depends on how you're viewing it currently if it's making sense by the way please comment a green emoji any of your choice or just liking the video lets me know that it does resonate so thank you in advance but i just sense that this person your person is they are thinking about something that could stand a, stand the test of time like they know that they need to be disciplined they know that they can't just give you a little bit of breadcrumbs and then run away like that's not going to fly with you so maybe you've made that clear whether you've made it clear very openly or whether you have just in the way that you've acted towards them or reacted towards them. They know that they can't mess this up, okay? Or that you're just gonna stick by them. Like, I feel like they may see that you have the potential to stick by them through thick and thin, but not if they treat you poorly, okay? So they see that you do have a lot of self-respect, group one. Okay, so some message cards from your person. I cry about you more often than I would ever admit. Okay. And that makes sense because of all this emotion that they do cry or they have cried about you. When they feel like they've lost you or they feel like you're upset with them or that you don't want them anymore or that things aren't going well, they've definitely cried. They have. And I feel like you wouldn't know this about your person. You may think or think that they are very... Uh, stoic very poised like they wouldn't shed a tear over something um, that easily or something connected to you even but they do they do they absolutely do cry they have cried about you but yeah they're unlikely to admit that maybe one day they may admit that but I don't feel like they're oh my god going to anytime soon but look we have I'm ready to try again they are ready to try again. They want to move this forward. So again, this makes sense that, I mean, I didn't say this before, but it would make sense that you've had something before, okay? That there was a split, there was a separation, and now it's like back on. Okay, so they are ready. It may have taken them some time, but they are ready. 
Oh, oh my god, I just felt like, oh, sweet energy. I just can't even with this reading. I'm so happy that this is the first reading I've done since being away. Like, it's just, oh, it's made me so happy for you guys because you are worth it all to me. I love this. They, they feel like, yes, you are worth it all. Like, they, you are worth the effort. You are worth putting in the time. You are worth making changes for. You are worth committing to. Like, honestly, I feel so giddy for you. I'm just going to get some astro dice. I just, yeah, this is so, so good. So I don't know what has happened or what is about to happen, but it looks damn good, okay? Your person is feeling really, really positive about you and about your connection. Okay, so we've got the number five, which is about change, liberation from the past, okay? So, yeah, they definitely... I feel like their feelings for you have shifted lately. They've gone through a transformation with Pluto, okay? This has been some kind of a rebirth, like there's been an ending, maybe something else ended, and then this new, this could be a new beginning for the two of you. Okay, now we've got Virgo energy. So it's just quite introverted, and there's a lot of privacy here as well. So I feel like there's something about your person maybe wanting to keep this private, and again, not secrets they don't want to keep it secret from people but i feel like they want to just be very private it's like again it's like protection they want to keep it protected so maybe it's like they would rather spend time in your homes okay potentially because virgo likes to be at home can be a bit of a hermit but it may just be that they want to spend time alone with you maybe even traveling somewhere going somewhere that where nobody is where you can just be with each other but not feel like there are eyes on you so yeah something about this needing to be very private is also coming through but anyway this is what i see for you group one i truly hope it resonates with you please do comment below if it does i would love to know what you think and if you'd like to book a personal reading with me the link to my website is below i do hope you have a lovely rest of your day bye for now hi group two so let's take a look at your person's current feelings for you. Okay, so what is your person currently feeling? Angel of Strength. So we've got Energy of Leo. Ooh, Caring Connections, which gives me Cancer vibes. And then Action in Reverse. Okay. So, I mean, this is really nice actually this is giving me nice vibes okay because i feel like your person is feeling yeah very sweetly towards you okay and now we are in cancer season so it may be yeah people are just feeling a little bit more soft a little bit more sweet a bit more caring at the moment as a whole collectively but yeah when it comes to their feelings this is them like wanting to nurture you like they made me wanting to buy you flowers or to give you massages or back rubs or yeah something about them feeling like really close to you on an emotional level but i do get the sense here that they they may be struggling to act on these feelings at this moment okay with the action reverse the angel of strength so they may be feeling potentially a little bit insecure or lacking in confidence okay something about their ego their ego is getting in the way here so you may have bruised their ego or they may have bruised, bruised their own ego in some form and they could be sabotaging it in terms of actually taking action but this could also be that if you've actually been together recently if you've been intimate with one another or you've spent more time together closely that they may just be feeling like okay we can take a bit of a break now it's like you come together then it's like oh okay like just have some time apart and then we'll come back together so let's just get some more information who was your person feeling whoa that was weird hold on i just suddenly felt like really breathless like my chest felt really tight as i pulled this card out so yeah, I don't know if your person, yeah, it's, it's got some anxiety here. But anyway, we've got be devoted and committed. Shapeshifter, transform and unveil your gifts. I will say as well, I suddenly got really hot as well. And you regulars know that this is how, partly how I read. I do pick up on um, physical things. Um, I get a lot of physical symptoms that come up for me through readings. Sorry, one second, I'm just gonna have, literally have to take my shirt off, I'm boiling. Whew, okay. 
so yeah your person is very heated very very heated like they are incredibly passionate about you so the attraction is off the charts okay they feel hot um they may even have they have a bit of a tempo i sense okay they may have like a hot tempo or like a, a latin tempo or something like they may just like for example they, they may get quick to lose it but then they settle down quickly okay um but for example, if they have a Leo moon, a Leo moon can be very, very fiery, but hold on to that for a while. Whereas like an Aries moon, for example, may feel like initially all of that intensity and then it dissipates. And literally as I started talking about it, I started to cool down. Um, so I know that we're on the right track, okay? So yeah, your person definitely feels this intensity, but also as well, I'm noticing all this orange, even with the lion and then the sage card here very orange which is representative of the sacral chakra and sacral chakra is connected to our sexuality our creativity and our emotions so your person definitely feels emotion as well as a lot of physical sexual attraction to you okay that is a very strong part of your connection then i'm just getting a sense here that you may not know the real them and that may be mirrored as well, because they may not, may not feel like they know the real you. Something about the shape-shifting here is making me feel like not seeing all sides of them yet. Like maybe they reveal certain aspects of themselves and they keep certain aspects away. There's like little bits and pieces that you're getting here. But I do feel they see you as very wise, okay? Like you are quite mature. Like, even if you're younger than them, for example, like you come across as quite mature for your age, like you've got a very intelligent mind, you've got a very expansive mind, you see things in a way that other people don't. And I feel like they really appreciate that about you. So there's also an intellectual connection that they do feel. Okay, there's like this passion in their heart, and then there's a lot of activity in their mind about you, as well as sexual feelings and attraction. So it's all going on, uh, except for, the actual action which is needed there is this need for grounding the connection and I feel like your person is considering at the moment whether they can be devoted and committed to you I do get the sense here that they want to be but it does feel like it's a question for them okay that they may be thinking yeah am I capable of this am I going to be able to do this Especially if they're someone that hasn't been in a relationship for a while, okay? Or they haven't been in a long-term relationship for a while, or maybe even ever for some of you. So they may be just contemplating the idea of it. Like, they may feel like, if I'm going to do it for anybody, I'm going to do it for you, group two. I'm going to make this happen for you. I want to be devoted and committed. But sometimes it's like the, the thoughts, the intentions can be misread with the reality with them. So sometimes it's like... They want to do the right thing, but they do struggle at points to actually take the action. Wow, higher power. There is a little bit of similar energy with group one's reading. Okay, now, but this may be a collective shift that I'm feeling as a whole, but I mean, the higher power came out in that exact position in the last reading. Okay, so if you really felt drawn to group ones, you may want to watch that too, but let me see. Oh my God, that one came out as well. How funny. This one was new though, Yang. Okay, love that. So yes, your person, <laughs> they do feel something on this very spiritual level as well. So you're hitting all the levels here with your person. Like you are ticking every box, like every aspect of what they could want and feel in a connection they are feeling with you. But there, yeah, is this avoidant part of them where they do feel like they need to take time out to escape a little bit. But I'm also getting the sense they feel like they can actually escape with you. Like when they're with you, when they're talking to you, when they're in your presence, they feel like they can let go of everything else that's weighing them down, everything else that they have going on. And they feel like they can just be free, be more open. And I feel like that's something that they really do cherish about you that yeah, you help take the stress off their shoulders. But there are times where they feel like they may need to avoid you even, and it's not a personal thing I'm sensing. I feel like this is more of a, I just need me time. I just need to recharge a minute, a minute and then I'll be back. Okay, that's the energy that I get here, especially with this yang. Again, this is that passion, look at that heat. 
as soon as I was pulling this card out, it was like the heat that was coming through. And it's like, <laughs> your, your person definitely feels still very heated, still very passionate. Even if they are at a distance at this moment, if they're taking some time out, they still feel yeah, incredibly heated. And like, I feel like they're thinking about you in ways that I'm not going to say here on YouTube, but you know what I mean. I never know with YouTube as well, because some videos I watch, just random videos, and people are swearing, people are talking about all sorts of subjects, and it's fine, and then others, I just, I actually don't know what the rules are, I could properly look it up, but I, I genuinely can't be bothered, so I just, I'll just cover all bases and try not to swear or talk about, use words that I think will get me in trouble, <laughs> or get me um, demon, demonetized, but anyway. Oh yes, that was it. I was going to look at this deck. So I do feel they are thinking about reaching out to you as well. So if you're wondering, like again, if they have been away for a little while, I do feel that they are in this state of contemplating taking the action that is needed, okay? This is the spark that is needed to drive the connection further forwards or to get it moving again. Adventures. Yeah, so your person may even see you as a bit adventurous. They feel like you're somebody that's always doing something different. You're speaking about different things like you want to explore I also just heard you want to explore each other okay so again I know it's very like <laughs> bedroom bedroom energy but yeah I feel like they want that but look at the orange again that orange that yellow I feel like they want to go to somewhere tropical with you okay that's something specific I just heard they want to go to somewhere tropical so they may talk about yeah going on a holiday with you somewhere somewhere where yeah you can both kind of escape with each other but yeah, they definitely want to go on some trips, okay? They want to have adventures. They, I feel like they really want to make memories with you, which is so cute. And then we've got diligence. Okay, so this is like, yeah, doing their due diligence, okay? They felt like they needed to, maybe before they were able to open up, to be more expressive, they needed to achieve a, a, a few things or maybe figure things out for themselves here. like. I feel like, again, there's something about the trust, like the mutual trust, them not necessarily completely trusting you or what you're always showing them and vice versa. But I feel like this is them realizing that, yeah, they've, they're going to have to do what they need to do. OK, it's sometimes it's not always the things they want to do, but there, there are things I just heard that they need to do in order to move this connection forwards okay or to move it forwards in a healthy way so i do feel like they they know what they need to do so even if they're not doing it it's not that they don't know it's like they do know but they again may be struggling with that at points okay but let's just get some more information and i will get some message cards as well okay we've got queen of wands in reverse how's your person feeling Devil in reverse, Capricorn. And the Fool in reverse. Yeah, I really feel like this is this energy of them wanting to come back in, but they're afraid of doing something stupid, I just heard, okay? That they are afraid that they might say something risky or that it won't go down that well with you or that it may be too spontaneous. And this may be sometimes their problem. They may not be able to plan things properly. They may just be like on the off the cuff or on a whim where they're like, <clears throat> I've got free time right now. What are you doing right now? But then, of course, you may not be free and you may need some time. You may be someone that's a bit more of a planner. You may be quite spontaneous with the Queen of Fire being here, because, so you may enjoy spontaneity as well, but I feel like something about the planning or not planning, it's like you're not playing ball. <laughs> I don't know, and I don't know why I'm laughing either, but I just almost, I don't see you even being mad about it. Maybe you were mad about it previously, but I feel like you may have let that go, because I see you being quite calm. This, this gives me more passive energy, if anything. Sometimes Queen of Wands reverse can be like super angry, um, and aggressive, but I'm just feeling more so it's the other way. But of course, take it if it resonates, if you are feeling that way, but it feels more like I'm just not even gonna go there. I'm not gonna do anything. Like, I'm gonna see what they do now. And if they wanna come into me spontaneously, impulsively, fine, let them do it. If I happen to be free, then I'll go with it. But if I'm not, then hell no, I'm not rearranging or uh, changing my own schedule. Like, they're gonna have to do, do more. So something about that, especially with the devil reverse, there may have been 
something unhealthy that was happening in the connection previously or maybe something even that you're concerned with that, that they're worried about that maybe they're worried about you seeing another side to them oh my god yes think about the other side yeah they're worried about how you will react to seeing another side okay so let's get some message cards from them but I would say over, overall, this feels very positive. I mean, I hope you feel the same. If you do, please comment a yellow emoji, any of your choice, or just liking the video as well lets me know that it's make, making sense and that I'm on the right track. Okay, so. You wanted me <clears throat> until I realized I wanted you. That's interesting. Gives me game playing. Okay, so it could be that this is what they're thinking. Doesn't mean it's true, by the way, but they could be thinking that now, like if, if they come towards you, if they're acting better towards you, and then they may think that you're becoming less interested or you're taking less action because it's like they may see you as a game player or being like, oh, now, now I'm interested, you don't want me anymore type of thing. But again, that could just be their own insecurity, which makes sense with that angel of strength from the beginning. This could be their own ego issues, their own self-confidence issues. You help me connect parts of myself that no longer communicate. And then, I don't know what healthy love feels like. So that's interesting though, because I do feel even with the word love that's there, it's like your person is questioning whether they actually love you, but also yeah, whether they are capable of having a healthy love, a committed long-term love, especially if they've had a lot of toxic, unhealthy relationships. They could be wondering, eh, can I do this? Like, I want to be able to do this. And I feel like they see all the positives. Look, you help me connect all of these parts of myself. Like, it makes me think of human design. I've been talking about that in the last reading, actually. But I don't know if any of you are familiar with it. But especially when you put two charts together, a connection chart, and you can see the ways in which you can actually bridge each other's gaps within the chart. It's so interesting. Similar to like astrologically combining charts, but I actually love the visual of the combining human design charts. And yeah, seeing in which ways that you kind of complete each other essentially. But I feel like in your human design charts, you would have a lot of bridges gapped. If there are connections that you're missing individually when you come together, they become one full channel and so regardless of human design though I feel like that's how your person feels like there are certain parts of them that were missing until they connected on a deeper level with you okay and I just felt this real strong like feeling in like my stomach there it's like whoa like your person feels so so strongly for you okay and I feel like yeah you help like fit the pieces of the puzzle basically they've been trying to fit fit it all by themselves but it's like since you've come along it just everything seems to make more sense okay so i feel like they really really want to make this work but they do have these inner demons and battles that they need to work through okay so let's take a look at the astrological dice as well oh okay we'll take that because it fell out so we've got pluto which is about transformation and rebirth, okay? So I do feel that their feelings are evolving and transforming for you as we speak. Um, what did I do? I, I nearly just like flicked it, that was weird. Something to do with control, because that was about me controlling like what I was gonna see. So, and Pluto represents control. So yeah, I don't know if your person has yeah, control issues. They like to control like what's going to happen, the outcome of things a lot, which could, uh, cause issues potentially um, we've got leo and we've got the number nine oh, i just remembered i didn't even think i covered the astro dice in the last reading i think i just looked at one i don't know <laughs> I, don't, I can't maybe it's just slipped my mind no it no i didn't i did go through all of them that was weird anyway ignore me um but yeah so we've got number nine so this could be something that shifts by the number nine it could be they reach out to you by the 9th, 9th day, 9th day of the month, 9 a.m., 9 p.m., 9 hours from now. Maybe even the 9th of August with Leo season here. Maybe something monumental will shift around that date. Something around Leo season as well will shift. But yeah, I mean, there's overwhelming, intense feelings here. Very passionate. And I do feel quite loyal as well at this point. Now, I can't say for sure if this is got longevity but I feel like there's this like dedication they want to have to just you I don't see anybody else being in the picture here okay 
So this is what I see for you, group two. I truly hope it resonates. Please do comment below if it does. I would love to know what you think. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website is below. I do hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye for now. Hi, group three. So let's take a look at your person's current feelings for you. Okay, what are your person's current feelings for you? Okay, we have the thinking woman. The world. And the woman holding a coin. Okay. <clears throat> so we've got earth energy here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm just having a sip of my water one sec. We've got <clears throat> air energy, excuse me, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. <clears throat> and it's funny because, I mean, maybe it's because I've been reading for a little bit, but this could be something connected to communication. My throat's only just started to uh, play up a little bit, but like I said, it may just be because I've been talking for 45 minutes. Probably is that, maybe it's a combination of both. Okay, now... I'm really drawn into the butterfly for some reason. Like I can't take my eyes off it. So yeah, butterflies represent transformation, movement, okay? I mean, the world is showing a new cycle, a new opportunity. So I do feel your person is considering some kind of new cycle. But the fact that we've got two females here, this could be that, I don't know if this is a female, female reading. You could be asking about um, a female, you might be a female, asking about a female, could be a friend, uh, could be a lover, doesn't have to be though, okay? But it could be, for example, somebody is trying to choose between two females as well. Just take that if it resonates. Of course, if it doesn't, if you know there's no third party energy going on, then you can disregard that, okay? But for others, others of you that know that it's a third party, then this is your clarity, okay? That this is the right pile. So... What are your person's feelings? I don't feel like we've really got much into their feelings. I feel like they are quite protective of their emotions and maybe even quite protective in readings. Some people, like in readings, will, will put blocks up and walls up energetically. Like they don't know that they're doing it, but say for example, someone is asking about another person. Like when I do personal readings, for example, it, it has happened where they're asking about a person and s some information will come up and then other things will be like, nope, 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 not allowed to see that. And so it may be that, but yeah, something about your person may have a level of protection around them from everything being understood about them. Okay, we've got trust in higher forces, shaman. permit retreat and recharge yeah it makes a lot of sense because i do see your person as being somewhat of a yeah they could be a bit of a hermit they may be a loner at points but i just i hate that word i don't know i've said that today as well and i don't know why i said it because i hate it like i just feel like just because somebody wants to spend time alone doesn't mean that they are a loner necessarily i guess maybe there are people you could term as that but i just feel like for your person it's more that Again, they're very, very protective, like so protective, protective of who they let in, maybe who they let into their home or whose homes they go to or who they choose to spend time with. They're very selective, very selective. Um, and again, it's like they've got this wall of protection around them. So I do feel your person is actually quite sensitive because it's usually the most sensitive of people that have the strongest walls up. Okay, which it can also seem confusing. Sometimes you could be like, that person is so cold, they're so mean. And yes, there may be somebody that are just mean through and through, but a lot of people that have that mean facade are actually very, very sensitive, very sweet and soft, and may have been very sweet natured children, but along the way, things happen to them where they had to build up a strong wall. Okay, so, and that may be even coming across as having like a resting, um, like, I don't want to swear because I don't know, again, I was saying this earlier, I don't know the exact rules of YouTube because some videos I see people swear, some people don't. But anyway, you know what, a resting bee face, right? Like a poker face. So, because I'm seeing like, yeah, quite something stern here. So, yeah, it may be that they just have that kind of face, but it's like, 
they and maybe you have that as well they might be thinking that too like you're both mirroring each other a little bit here like you both may identify with that feeling of being quite appearing quite stoic or unbothered or non-emotional but actually there's something that does run a lot deeper here and it's just this like i said protection that's around you okay so let's see what else is coming through now in terms of their feelings as well i do feel that they are trying to take some time away okay so yeah again they're, they're trying not to be too in touch with their feelings at the moment and i do feel that they are either spending time meditating um, and being very open to what is to happen moving forwards they're they're wanting to trust I feel like they're questioning you know whether they can trust you and not because you've done anything or said anything that's made them question that i feel like it's just something that they're thinking about okay and it's going to take time to build up that trust again we've got a lot of virgo here so your person may have a lot of virgo in their charts but yeah i do feel they do want a resurgence here if things have been off between the two of you or if something's gone wrong or interesting that that just fell out serendipity um so yeah if something has happened if they've done yeah messed things up they do want to fix it they do want to apologize or they want to make amends do something that yeah is able to move the connection back forwards again in a positive way okay so they do want to clean things up but the serendipity is beautiful the fact that it actually just fell out as well like that it wasn't even shuffling because serendipity just means finding something beautiful without looking for it, okay? Finding something special. Like, and it is, a lot of the times, the best things in life are serendipitous, are those surprises, things that we didn't expect. And I do get the sense here with your person that they weren't expecting this with you, okay? So maybe you've known each other previously, maybe you've known each other for a while, you could have been friends, you could have gone to school together, you could have worked together, okay? You may have just known each other, you know, around your local area or something for a while, but then you may have never thought about each other in a particular way, but then something shifted. And now they're thinking like, wow, okay, this, I, I wasn't looking for you, but you just came along at the right time. So it's, that's really sweet, I feel. Okay, so let's see what else is coming through here. Your person's feelings. Fork in the road, okay. So yeah, there is some sort of obstacle here that they feel they've got to overcome before, maybe before things can stabilize with you. Like I see them having like a lot of different balls up in the air here, a lot of different options, different ways to go. So again, for some of you, again, that know it's third party, it could be that they are considering their other romantic options. But again, for most of you, I'm really not sensing that. It feels more like this is what's going on in their career or what's going on in their home life. They may be questioning, where do I live next? What job do I do next? What business venture do I begin? Where do I go? So yeah, it feels like they are not directionless. They, I feel like they've actually got a lot of options, as I said, but they're just confused to, as to which way to go at this moment in time, okay? So let's just see. Oh yeah, I wanted to look at the other deck here. And then I will look at the tarot, message cards, and the astrology dice today. Okay. Group three, what are their current feelings for you? Inner peace. Look at the fish. It's very Piscean. Yeah, I feel like even though they've got some of these struggles, these hurdles they've got to overcome, potentially, like I said, financial especially, maybe health as well for some of you. But it's like, you are their inner peace like they want to like swim around with you it's really really cute energy and again i keep getting that throughout these readings i keep getting like really cute sweet sweetness which i really like even though the readings are different from one another but there's always usually some sort of synchronicity that, that ties them together and it's definitely a sweetness that i'm getting here at the moment but yeah i just feel like they see you as standing out in some way but also that they stand out like you both stand out like you're not i don't know people that just blend into a crowd you're definitely people that are noticed people that are seen 
And I feel like they like that. They like that you're both sort of out there, outgoing in some way, even though, of course, we've got this hermit energy and being very introverted. But for example, this could be being very introverted, but then dressing in really bright colors, okay, when they do go out. Um, or like, again, being quite introverted, focusing on work, focusing on the home, focusing on cleaning, etc. But then when you socialize, it's like you're the life and soul of the party. Okay, and it's like you could both be that way. But yeah, I feel like your person just wants to feel at peace. And I feel like when they're able to just trust, when they trust in that what is meant to be will be, that's when they feel at peace. And this is when you're gonna get the most out of this person too. Like not when this person is angry or upset. It's like when this person feels at peace with themselves, yeah, you're definitely gonna get the most positive energy from them, okay? because yeah this person really needs to feel at peace i mean we all need to feel at peace of course but i feel like in relation to this relationship like they're definitely not somebody that's seeking drama that's seeking instability or even games anything like that even if they may come across that way i actually don't feel like that's what they want okay but they just want to feel at peace so sometimes they do want to know what's going on but they may even have to prioritize their other responsibilities so that they can feel at peace because then they're gonna give the best energy to you. So if they've got a lot of things going on financially or they've got these other responsibilities that are plaguing them, it's like you're not gonna get the best version of them, okay? So this is something they're thinking. So when they're able to yeah, get everything on track, when their money is good, when their health is good, when they're organized, their home is in order, etc., like you will get the absolute best from this person. Okay, so this may even be a message that they want to tell you is to be patient with me, be patient. I just need to get a few of these things done and then I'm here for you. And then we've got flexibility. I just saw the peach on the bottom of the deck, by the way. Um, so I feel like, yeah, something about they like your peach. Okay, I will just say. Now, <laughs> flexibility. I mean, this may also be, for some of you, you might be into yoga, okay? Um, or they may be into yoga, that could be something you like about them. Again, there's like meditation coming through here. So yeah, this may be something that you do together. Could it be something that's like noticed, you know, behind closed doors, if you know what I mean, I'm sure you do. But yeah, I do feel like your person wants you to be flexible because they are quite flexible and they are quite adaptable, I feel like. Even though they've got these ideas these focused plans for their life and what they want to achieve but just on a day-to-day -day basis as a whole i feel like yeah they are quite adaptable because virgo is a mutable earth sign okay so it's the most flexible of all of the earth signs so it's able to be like okay we can leave that for tomorrow or we can rearrange this okay they definitely i feel like want that to be the way things are things to you know flow easily so yeah, again, they don't want any drama if they have to cancel for some reason. And sometimes it might be because of their own mental health or they have to prioritize their peace. And so they may need to postpone something, cancel. And if you were to get super upset with them every time they did that, that would, I feel like, push them away. Okay, and that may be a personal boundary of yours and that may be something that you don't want. You may want someone that is always on time, consistent, always there, sticks to their word every time. Um, and this may not be somebody for the long term if that is what you really really want and need but if you are both able to be quite flexible with each other i do feel yeah this could work okay for the long term i mean but let's see let's get some tarot messages now hold on that was so annoying i didn't realize that it was like the angle was askew is it still askew it's okay it's okay. I know you guys probably don't care. Like, I don't care if I've watched other readings, but I really care when I'm doing it myself. Okay. So your person's feelings for you. Your person's feelings for you. So we've got the Fool. Three of Cups. So again, potential third party energy. Seven of Swords in reverse. Hmm. They may want to also see how things go as friends between the two of you. Even though there's definitely a physical attraction here, I feel like they may want to just like see if you can build a foundation of friendship first to see if you can have that or to see maybe if you do have that, especially if things have been 
like very physical between the two of you but there's not been a lot of chat on either side it may be that yeah it's like they want to get to know you or maybe even get to know like your friends your family get to know more actually about you in a way and we've got lots of young energy here potentially children okay so i don't know if children are a factor here whether they have a child or you have a child or they may be wondering i don't know whether they could introduce you to them. I'm not sure that they're thinking it's the right time, but they may just be questioning whether this is something they could see in the future. There is some self-delusion here, though, I will say, with the Seven of Swords. Like, they could be, I don't know, sometimes I feel like this person can self-sabotage without realizing it. Hmm. And I feel like it's their thoughts. They have to be very careful with their thoughts. Again, this is why they need to meditate a lot. It's like they have to keep on top of their mental health and on top of their thought streams because they have had a propensity to get into a negative spiral at points and so yeah i feel like it's it's definitely something to do with the trust and again it's not necessarily anything that you're doing or not doing it may be for some of you this might even be like to connect to social media you know other people that could potentially be a threat to the connection for example i don't know but i just see like their eyes like keeping an eye on you and maybe what you're doing your activity but it doesn't give me like like unhealthily in any way or like stalker vibes it's more just like i'm just gonna keep an eye but i'm just gonna not invest too much until i'm sure whether i can trust so yeah definitely something about trust they are a little bit unsure they're keeping an eye but again i don't feel like there's a possessiveness here or i feel like again they're trying to be healthy about this they know that they may have some unhealthy traits they're trying to work on them okay they're trying to push through the uncomfortable feelings they're trying to get to that place of remaining in inner peace when it comes to your connection and i feel like this is them as well not wanting to rush at points you may see a quite impulsive side to them where they're quite seemingly quite risk-taking or even a bit irrational at points but other times you see a very grounded relaxed calm them and i feel like yeah this is where they i feel like in their minds they want to take things slowly but they may at times just feel like an impulsive hit to connect with you on a more spontaneous level so yeah you may like receive random communication from them or like a sudden like a surprise invitation where they want to meet up with you or something but let's see <clears throat> what's on their mind or what's coming through in the message cards from your person group three please with every blink there you are okay that's quite an obsessive card to come through and i mean virgo itself can be quite an obsessive sign it likes to like really zoom in focus on the details i'm sorry for disappointing you okay so yeah they may be aware that they've disappointed you in some way you never wanted me to get over you okay so yeah they may think that i just heard put a spell on them okay so for some of you they may be thinking you put a spell on them um especially if they know that you're into some kind of witchcraft or spiritual matters um so they could be thinking that um but yeah they may be thinking that maybe the way that you're acting like and again you might not be doing this or doing this on purpose certainly but yeah something about the way that you're acting may makes them feel like why do you keep doing this you're just making me want you more <laughs> so which might please you so it seems to be whatever you're doing is working whether it's intentional or not in terms of getting this person's attention at least you certainly are um they yeah they do feel a level of being sorry a level of that was an interesting way of putting it a level of being sorry so maybe this isn't like a full full force apology um, they may, yeah, on one level feel like they're sorry that they disappointed you, but they may not be totally sorry about their actions, okay? Especially if it did involve someone else, other people. But, for example, they may be saying to themselves, well, we're not committed, we're not in a relationship, um, if that is the case for the two of you, of course. So they may be like, you know, I can kind of do what I want, um, but I also don't want to upset you at the same time. So, a bit of both. But yeah, with every blink, there you are. And that's why it's quite obsessive because think how many times a minute that we blink. So you're definitely always a fixture in this person's mind. Whatever they're doing, wherever they are, whoever they're with, you are always there in their mind, okay? So let's get the Astro Dice now. Okay, so we've got Neptune, we've got Eight and Aquarius. So it could be that something shifts on the 8th, 8th of the month, 8 days from now, 8 weeks. 
could be even 8th of February could have a special resonance, okay? Something maybe may have shifted in the previous February, February. Something may shift in the next February, potentially. But with Neptune and Aquarius, there's a lot of unpredictability here in your connection, okay? And I would just say as a whole, not just in your person's feelings, okay? But I feel like things have been very up and down. Things have been quite unexpected. Like, I feel like, again, maybe this was that you weren't expecting to fall for each other, okay? Or to connect in this way. Now, Aquarius also represents friendships as well. So again, there could, there's a lot about friends coming through here. So something about friends, friends either interfering or friends bringing you together, or maybe there's even been gossip or something, which may be as well about potentially them wanting to keep things private on a level. But there's something mystical here as well, okay? You both do feel drawn to each other on this mystical level with Neptune there, okay? For some of you, you may even have like your Neptune transiting your fifth or your seventh house, okay? Or maybe it's, it's transiting their house or maybe your composite charts, seventh house. Um, definitely, I feel like there's something about you being spiritually brought together, okay? Like Neptune has had an influence here in you two coming together when you have. And you both feel that pull. You both feel like quite sensitive about each other as well. But at the same time, you also can be quite detached. So this is why I feel like it's quite up and down, inconsistent, but that you actually both may enjoy that. Maybe not forever, but in the meantime, it may suit both of your characters or you know the place that you're at at this point of your life even. So yeah, very, very interesting. Something shocking as well. So for example, this may even be a shocking connection when if people were to find out about this connection, they may be like quite shocked or not, they wouldn't have seen it coming, for example, um, or something. Yeah, maybe it, it may even be like, for example, they are a player or you're a player, okay? Or seen to be a player of some kind or like perpetually single, okay? And then you come together with this person. It's like, whoa, what? They're not single anymore? And what? They're actually settling down? Like it could be, it's something along those lines. It's going to be quite unconventional in a way. Of course, time will tell. We shall see. But I really do hope that this resonated with you. And if it did, please comment a red emoji or anything that you like. Just lets me know that this did make sense and that I'm on the right path for you. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website is below. I do hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye for now.